Hello friends and family, welcome to my new and very messy studio space. Today I'm starting a new series where I will be releasing sewing patterns and showing you how to use them. All patterns are available on toothandeye.com and will range from free to 15 Canadian or more depending on the complexity. First up I will be showing you how to make crew socks. Let's get into it. First, lay out your fabric, preferably a four-way or even a two-way stretch. Lay out your sock pattern so the stretch is going widthwise. Align the cuff close to the top so the patterns match up. And cut it out. Fold the fabric in half widthwise and line up the edges. Pin around the edges as shown. Using a serger or a zigzag stitch, sew along the edges you just pinned. Try not to stretch the fabric out while sewing. When getting to the toe curve, feel free to use tweezers to keep everything lined up. Sew past the cut edge to prevent any holes forming in that area. Take the cuff tube and fold in half so the pattern is facing outwards. Pin in four equally spaced out places. Pin the sock cuff to the opening of the sock body, right sides together. Make sure the seams are lined up and everything is pinned evenly to prevent bunching. Now sew the sock cuff to the sock body opening. You should be sewing through only three layers of fabric. Use tweezers to keep everything lined up. Cut and tie off all your excess threads. Flip right side out and repeat the whole process again with the other sock. And you're done. Now you have a quick and easy way to make socks. These are perfect for using up fabric scraps or giving as a gift. Put your new socks on and when possible, take them out into the wild. The design possibilities are pretty much endless. You can use crushed velvet for a cozy option or house slippers. You can mix and match fabrics to create something unique or use up excess scraps. Or create something a little spicy by using mesh and contrasting cuffs. I hope that was easy and straightforward for you. Let me know in the comments what types of patterns you would like me to release in the future. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.